Since the onset of the Russia-Ukraine war, the US and the UK have worked in tandem to support Ukraine through different UK prime ministers, Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, and the current incumbent, Rishi Sunak. The UK has committed to standing with Ukraine. During an interview with the British ambassador to Thailand, Thai PBS World asked him to outline British foreign policy in the current circumstances. For many decades, the UK government has stood up very strongly for freedom, for democracy and for international law. So in one sense, it should be a surprise to no one that when Russia invades its neighbour, Ukraine, uh, and violates the UN Charter and violates international law, the UK is going to stand up and uh, object to this in the strongest terms. So uh, the Ukraine uh, war now is clearly a top priority for the British government's foreign policy. Uh, we must make sure that Russia withdraws. Um, and the UK is putting a lot of pressure on Russia, including through sanctions. Uh, we've sanctioned over a thousand individuals and frozen over 18 billion pounds worth of Russian assets. Uh, but we're also providing as much support as possible to Ukraine's efforts in pushing Russia back. Uh, so, for instance, we've provided over two billion pounds worth of military assistance. We've provided over one and a half billion pounds worth of humanitarian and economic assistance. And we're working together internationally with our partners uh, to make the case for uh, protection of sovereignty, territorial integrity, uh, and to preserve Ukraine's right to be a nation state. Recently, the British Prime Minister emphasized the importance of their Indo-Pacific strategy. Mr. Sunak vowed to pay more attention to the Indo-Pacific region, which implies a balancing of power with China. But of course, the, the UK is also right now paying so much attention to Indo-Pacific strategy. So how do you put your position under this global circumstance and Indo-Pacific strategy that you have to also push forward? And our new Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak, has also given a number of speeches, including uh, one before Christmas, where he was setting out uh, his commitment to defending Ukraine until uh, Russia withdraws, his commitment to the Indo-Pacific region, but also he talked a lot about China um, as being uh, a systemic competitor to uh, the UK and uh, other countries in terms of uh, some of its international activity. Um, so we have to uh, take a pragmatic approach to our relationship with China and indeed relationships everywhere, working together where we can on shared priorities like the low carbon transition, uh, but also making sure we're resilient and managing risks. So just when the on bilateral relations with Thailand, Ambassador Gooding discussed the three areas in which there will be promotion of closer cooperation between the two countries, especially in science, innovation, and digital technology. How have you stepped up closer cooperation between Thailand and the UK? Well, as I say, as part of our Indo-Pacific uh, strengthening of our relationships, uh, we're very keen to build our relationship with Thailand. And I would say that we're working from a very strong base. Um, Thailand and the UK have had a very close relationship for many years. Of course, we have the relationship between our royal families, but also uh, many, many uh, fa other family links, lots of visitors in both directions every year. Um, but in the last couple of years, we've made real progress. And I would say broadly, there are three categories. So first of all, on the economic relationship, uh, last year we set up a new ministerial joint economic and trade committee. Uh, and we have a number of new areas of collaboration within that. Um, so for instance, we're working much more on digital uh, relationships, so digital technology, digital trade. As the UK is committed to broadening partnerships in the Indo-Pacific region, Thailand is among the countries which you have to be prepared in terms of the balance of power between the Western Alliance and China against a backdrop of confrontation in geopolitics on the global stage. Natako Monwadin reporting for Thai PBS World.